everyone, my name is Nicole, and today I'm filming a quick science experiment for you all today. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. So in front of me, I have an egg. To you, it might look like a completely normal egg, but there's actually something quite special about this egg. In a container, I soaked this egg in vinegar for 24 hours. Now, why did I do that? Well, the shell of an egg is made out of calcium, and calcium, when soaked in acid, eventually starts breaking down. So as you might be able to see, I can carefully pick away at this dissolved shell and it's just crumbling apart. And the egg is actually quite squishy. You might not be able to see it from here, but it's really squishy. But I'm also being really careful while handling the egg, but it is quite delicate, and if you're not careful, you could easily break the egg. Now, just underneath the shell, when you break it away, is this clear part that surrounds the yolk. Now, you might be asking what that is. Well, it's called a semi-permeable membrane. So what is a semi-permeable membrane? You can think of a semi-permeable membrane sort of like a wall. So imagine you have a brick wall. There's no holes in the wall, it's just a plain brick wall. Can anything pass through it? No, it should. Anything that went to it would just be knocked against the wall. But a semi-permeable membrane is like a wall but with tiny little holes in it. So they're really, really small holes. So they're not big enough that me as a human being could pass through the wall, but they're big enough that maybe if a little bug passed through it, the bug could go through the wall. So it's semi-permeable. <laughs> so semi-permeable membranes are really important in the process of diffusion and osmosis. So what are these fancy terms? Well, we'll explain diffusion first. So imagine you're standing in a room and you spray a bottle of perfume. Would that perfume just stay in the one spot you sprayed it? No, it would eventually spread out because particles don't like being super clumped up together. They like spreading out too and finding areas where they can spread out to. Imagine you're in a room and it's a huge room. And when you enter, um, you get enter in a little corner in the room and there's like 50 other people there. So when you enter, you're all super huddled up. Would you all stay in that corner? No, you would eventually all disperse and move out throughout the room. That is the process of diffusion. Uh, osmosis is essentially the same idea, but just with water. So these eggs are special because this semi-permeable semi membrane allows water particles to pass through it. So I was thinking, if I put this egg in a cup of water, what do you think would happen? Do you think the egg would stay the same or do you think the water particles would want to go through into it? Well, why don't you try that at home? This experiment is actually super easy, so I'll tell you the steps right now. All you need is a cup, some vinegar, and some eggs. And if you want to be safe, you can also wear gloves to protect yourself from the vinegar, but it's not dangerous, so that's not entirely needed. What you do is you grab your cup or container and you would put an egg inside of it. Then you would fill, fill the uh, container with vinegar until it just covers the egg. Then you let it sit for 24 hours. After that, you can begin to carefully pick, in, you can begin to carefully pick away at the shell. After that, you can put the egg in a cup of water and observe what happens. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!